What's up everybody? It's Elisa here. I just wanted to come by and do a quick video talking about what I've experienced thus far in summer of South Africa, right? So it's February now and what I'm experiencing during the month of February where normally I would be expecting cold or um, <clears throat> you know everything starting to frost over in the states it's actually quite mild and oddly enough I keep wanting to say spring right now because there's lots of um, rain not like all day long rain but it kind of reminds me of Florida when it's in the afternoon say 2 to 4 p.m you usually will get a little bit of rain pocket that'll come down going further into the evening you'll get thunderstorms um the thunder in south africa is it showcase all in itself right it's like this grandiose sound that only mother nature could create um and i dare humans even in the best of studios try to replicate it but it is something definitely to experience for yourself and it is frightening yet beautiful all in the same thing um so i i think that for me if i had to describe or answer the question what is weather like in South Africa, at least during this season? Um, we've been here since December and now it's February. So I didn't quite see the hot, 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 you know, um, even this particular house where we're living in does not have central air. There is um, AC units, but for the most part, we were able to use fans and um, just trying to keep cool, it hasn't been quite sticky. I live in the Sandton area, so <clears throat> that's been pretty much the norm here. But um, I don't know, different areas, it may be a little bit different. If you live in a different area than I do, hey, especially if you're local, let me know what the weather tends to be like. Is, is this normal for now? Um, not that hot, even though I'm hearing summer, I'm thinking hot, scorching. I don't know. Maybe that's one of those things that I thought about in South Africa that I didn't know that I would think like Serengeti hot, like, oh my God, can't breathe, can't think. I know when I came in, I want to say January, there was a couple days when I was like, oh, it's hot but and that was january of 2020 when i was just visiting for the first time but january 2021 not so much so i don't know what do you guys say is that the norm or maybe it's just climate change i don't know um the other thing that i noticed as far as what do you wear so it's not been like heavy needing to wear a whole lot of um, um, clothing as you would in the States. It's pretty much, you know, a t-shirt or some leggings, sandals, what have you. There has been days I'm noticing over the last week or so as we're entering February where I have felt a little chilly and I've been more reluctant to put the fan on. So again, when I'm hearing um, summer, maybe I think we're starting to transition into fall. That could be a appropriate so maybe not winter but and i'm not you know completely piling on layers but definitely i'll grab a jacket just in case it rains i usually may not have to wear it but it's good especially something with a hood if i'm taking the kids out like we went to this beautiful 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 um bird garden over in four ways and um it we just wanted to have something just in case it rained and it was so funny because right as we were finishing up the day we were about three or four hours um 
of course, it started to drizzle a little bit. And I was able to just pull the kids' hoods up. I was like, ha, South Africa, I'm learning. I got you this time. So, <clears throat> because I'm sorry, I'm like clearing my throat. I might be changing, you know, my, my voice might be going in and out a little bit. I might sound a little nasally, I'm sorry. But hence, I had to learn, like, what is this weather doing, right? <clears throat> so, just a quick update. Um, I said that as we went along with the seasons, I wanted to kind of do um, some videos that just kind of gave you an idea of what the weather feels like, what you should be wearing, if you're visiting, what you should pack, if you're moving here, also what you should pack, what maybe you want to bring. And for the month of December, January, going into February, I would say you're quite okay if you're just lounging around with leggings or shorts or light pants. Um, as you're going closer to February, you definitely want to have a nice rain jacket or galoshes, if you will. Um, maybe cardigans or some sort of a sweater. Not a heavy sweater, but just something like that you can layer with. And definitely cozy socks. Um, that you can wear in the afternoons or something just to kind of cover up yourself with as well if you're going to be just lounging around the house. Um, yeah, so I think that, let's see, as far as like plant life, I have noticed that my gardens, they're not as blossomy. So I, I, I definitely, even though I feel like it's spring, it's not spring. It is definitely, you know, it's greenery, but it doesn't remind me of like the state's summer greenery. It's not kind of a dull green. They, the, the plants are vibrant and not as colorful, but definitely full of life. That's probably because of the rains that's going on. Um, I dare to say maybe this is like monsoon season. I've definitely seen a few places where the news have reported where there was flooding in some areas and things like that. So I I, I could probably go off of that is probably the season that we're in as well. But um, I know I wanted to plant some things. Just we, we eat a lot of peppers and um, onions and stuff like that and I had went to the store to grab a couple packs of things um, <clears throat> reason being is because I kept cutting them off of the, the, the live vegetables so I could dry it out and, and plant them and of course we have five kids they managed to get into it or throw it away or something but I think I got um, green peppers onions tomatoes cucumbers stuff that we eat all the time that i'd like i'd like to kind of try my hand at this and i talked to our gardener and he quickly was like mm -mm, you're not going to be able to plant this or that the only thing out of that list that he said we could kind of plant right now was the onions and the green pe peppers which i'm okay with can't talk um i'm okay with that peter piper picked a peck of pickle pup never mind childhood rant anyway <laughs> Um, so he said that we could do the peppers and we could do the onions, which I was quite okay with because we use those a lot. And even if I could just go in the garden and get those, like I'm able to go out, we have a lemon tree in the back that was already here. And for the most part, they're usually green, but, um, I'm kind of monitoring though that plant to see if it just stays that way or if it's going to turn yellow. I don't know. I've never really tried to grow lemons, so I don't know. Do Are lemons yellow before you pick them, or do they turn yellow after you pick them? I don't know. Here recently, I just now learned that my husband's favorite nut, cashews, is not actually a nut. It grows out of a plant. Go figure. I don't know, but... This is just my take on beautiful South Africa in February and what is summer, maybe going into fall. Let me know what you think. Of course, guys, I make these videos as I begin to learn things so that I can share them with you. Please let me know what you think because without you, I am talking to myself, right? <laughs> so please like, follow, subscribe, 
hit that bell notification button so you know every time that I come out with new content and a new video just for you. And of course, you can follow me on other social media platforms at the Alisa Gary on Facebook and Instagram as well as Twitter. And of course, please check out my blog on www.journeytoza.com with new information and more in detail content on all things South Africa. Thanks for joining. Bye.